concrete wall and elegant European-style gardens have drawn generations of sightseers. Marunda is a very scenic place with panoramic outlook over the vast expanse of water that is cradled by forests and mountains. Water from Marunda serviced the metropolitan area's northern and western suburbs and on completion nearly doubled Melbourne's storage capacity. The O'Shaughnessy Reservoir, completed in 1928, serviced the eastern suburbs of Melbourne, while Sylvan Reservoir, completed four years later, provided additional storage for mountain harvested fresh water. Anticipating Melbourne's future needs, the water authorities began planning yet another new dam, an ambitious scheme which would harness the Yarra's headwaters and effectively double the total available storage capacity. The site for an upper Yarra dam was proposed in 1940, but surveying and initial construction work was halted by the Second World War. Immediately after the war, work commenced on the construction of a conduit to carry water from the proposed storage to the Sylvan Reservoir, and the pipeline to take it to the city was also laid into the landscape. The upper Yarra Dam site was cleared of trees and excavations began to remove overburden from the seat of the dam. The massive scale of this enterprise required brute force earth moving equipment and the machinery included a fleet of Euclid trucks specially imported from the United States for the project. After being unloaded at the Melbourne wharves, the giant trucks were given a police escort as they slowly made their way through Melbourne streets en route to the dam. Meanwhile, temporary buildings for construction workers were erected and the area began to take on the appearance of a boom town, with numbers not seen in the Upper Yarra region since the influx of gold prospectors in the 1860s. The old dirt track, traversed for years by prospectors heading up the Yarra track to the gold fields at Woods Point and beyond, was replaced by a new all-weather road from Warburton to the dam. Before work on the dam itself could proceed, however, a diversion tunnel to carry the flow of the river had to be constructed, and this became a major drilling operation. The tunnel was eventually completed, and earth moving on a grand scale commenced at a nearby quarry site. The earth would form the impervious fill material for the dam wall interior, while the rocks would be used for the external section of the huge embankment. All roads led to the dam site. As the wall rose higher in the valley, the roads were constantly changing profile. As work proceeded and the dam itself began to shape up, the associated workforce also grew. At times, more than a thousand men were employed on this immense undertaking. By the early 50s, the construction town had its own preschool centre and the Upper Yarra Dam State School, which functioned from 1951 to 1964. The township boasted a co-op store as well and a range of community and sporting facilities. The area to be submerged also had to be cleared and this included the small settlement at McVeigh's, which lay in the path of the clearing gangs. Located at the junction of the Yarra on Walsh's Creek, McVeigh's was the well-patronised last pub in the wild back country of the Upper Yarra. For years, the hotel served the many gold prospectors in the surrounding ranges. The historic inn was also a popular tourist destination for other reasons. It marked the start of a walking track that accessed the Yarra Falls, Victoria's biggest waterfall, and progressed over the ridge to the Borbore Plateau. 
A shelter hut was provided for visitors to the falls and the track also continued upstream along Falls Creek, a Yarra tributary to a series of smaller falls. The old contention mine water wheel at McVeigh's has since been reconstructed in the picnic area and parklands at the foot of the dam wall. McVeigh's pub was also famous because of Sam Knott, a miner and bush worker who was employed there in the late 19th century. Knott was later immortalised as the character in the Carlton Brewery's advertising, which claimed that he always has one at 11. The Upper Yarra Dam was officially opened on the 26th of November 19